need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Son Edwards, Troy Williamson, join me. Um, boys, two very, very, very good fights. I'll come to you first, Troy. Um, yeah, two crackers tonight. Yeah, very good. I'm really pleased that Lyndon got the win. Um, if I'm honest, I, I, I had him slightly behind, but pulled out the bag and he got the win, so I'm, obviously I'm over the move for him. And my old four Mason Cartwright, uh, another cracking fight. It's a shame that he obviously got beat the way he did. Powers of recovery, that's what champions do, get up and deliver a sickener like that to, to the body. Um, dramatic, but what a way to win a title, Rocky style, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a good fight. I felt like, uh, mirroring what Troy said, we had him a couple rounds down. We had him needing the last four, uh, you know, at least three of the four last rounds. Um, and yeah, he pulled it out of the bag. He's always dangerous all the way through a fight. He's always heavy handed. Sometimes it's about the right shot landing when his feet are in the right place and timing, but he found it and. Yeah, he put a, put a stop to the fight. Could have counted to 30, and I think the kid would still been down. Um, it was a great, well-placed, weren't loaded up, body shot. He didn't force it. He just let it go, and yeah, he got the win. Um, yeah, maybe a bit rocky start, but I felt like the close, the fight was very competitive. I felt it was close. I felt like for large periods, Linda was outboxing, but then maybe in that round, the best shot was Suarez, and then maybe there was like a, a you know like a barrage to end the round that was with Suarez. So some of the rounds hard to score. Yeah, I agree, probably. Um, two points down, going into the tenth round, still had some work to do, but he got the kid out of there. And I felt like it was coming for a few rounds. We was getting more confident and more confident as the rounds were going on. Uh, Lyndon was reacting well to the shots he was taking, and um, Suarez started fading uh, visibly. I thought, and the shots started having more of an effect. And, and yeah, he was getting more of a reaction and sort of more heads going in, more elbows, and then the body shot landed, and that was the end of the fight. A wicked way to win a world title for sure. Um, Troy, and obviously your kind of main focus would have been on the fight between Samuel and Mason Cartwright. Um, you're going to be gunning for the winner of that now? Yeah, I'd love, I'd love the winner of that fight. I think our styles would clash uh, perfectly. Obviously, I, I was I, I was behind uh, Mason. Obviously, all fours shared uh, before. But um, it was a great performance by Antwi and um, yeah, I'd love, I'd love that fight. Things I'm hearing in the boxing circle is that there's been a couple of fights offered to people, or your name's been offered to a couple of fighters, and they've turned you down. So is that kind of a bit of a problem for you at the moment, just kind of struggling to get the fights that, that you want? Yeah, I'm struggling to get the fights. Obviously, I'm a I'm a big risk for anybody. I mean, I haven't got nothing to bring to the table right now. I've, I've got no belt, so and obviously I'm a I'm a handful for anybody uh, in the division 154 or 160. Yeah, you're right. Obviously, there's been some big names mentioned to me, and obviously I've accepted them. And unfortunately, obviously they've not materialised on, on their behalf. So, you talk about this man and where you'd like him, or what sort of fights you'd like to see him in. I mean, I guess you want to see him get his hands on on the British title again. Yeah, I mean, I think for Troy, I think you know there's been some good domestic fights offered out there, um, fights that I would love to see, and we've spoken about. I think Agiaco got mentioned, a few other Olympians and that, that have turned pro. Um, but I think the problem with uh, Troy and uh, the opponent's decision making when fighting Troy is, regardless of how confident they are, whether they think they're going to win or they think they're better than him, I think they know that it's not going to be an easy fight. Regardless of what happens, it's going to be entertaining, it's going to be exciting, there's going to be a lot of punches thrown. Troy can walk through big shots and keep throwing, and he's shown that time and time again. Um, and yeah, I think it's one of those, he's almost like the sort of middleweight version of Joel Joyce, where everyone sort of knows who he is around a domestic level at the, the, the division. But everyone knows that regardless of what you think technically to him, it's going to be as hard as the 10, 12 rounds as, you, as you've been in the ring with. So it's, um, it's a frustrating place to be in, the sort of who needs me club. And I think Troy might be getting the... Um, the title for the most avoided man in, in British boxing. It used to be me, but I'm not so avoided no more. Um, but yeah, I feel like it gets frustrating when Troy throughout his career has shown that over and over again, he'll take the fights. Doesn't matter the platform, doesn't matter home or way. He prepares properly. He um, travels up and down the country, sparring the best fighters out there at a drop of a hat, night's notice, etc. Um, and yeah, it'll be good to see him get that uh, event 
and get that fight, you know, like an Agiaco or, or like these other big names or Antwi, um, these sort of fights where, you know, he can really, you know, have the opportunity to push on rather than now sort of he's been there, up there, mixed it at like the highest levels of domestic uh, British fighting and now he's getting sort of avoided and stepped around where really, you know, he, you know he's had some setbacks, etc. He's not got an unblemished record, so you'd have to be asking if he was the promoter of these other fighters. Well, if you're not going to fight Troy, why are you mentioning world titles, you know? So, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, get Troy getting something over the line. I know he's been working really hard, him and his team behind the scenes. Um, so, yeah, uh, he'll get the shot that he deserves and that his talent and also that his ambition deserves really because the nights that he's put and given British boxing fans already um, you know in his in his six seven year career turning pro at a similar time to me that he's already deserved you know these these fighters not avoiding them or not being able to but from what I'm hearing as well some fighters are you know falling out of favour because they're not fighting him so you know if that's happening that's all good for, for Troy so. yeah, I couldn't have said it any better myself the middleweight Joe Joyce saying a bad little uh Little comparison, is it? Um, not that I want you to kiss each other's asses or anything, but how good would it be to see him go over to Arizona and beat Bam Rodriguez on December the 16th? I think he will go over to Arizona and beat Bam Rodriguez, uh, and I think he'll do it pretty comfortable as well. He's the, he's the man in the division. Uh, yeah, obviously people keep people keep people keep saying he's boring or like they don't give him the credit he deserves, but like there's there's no way to beat Sonny Edwards and, there's, and there's, there's been no way shown how to beat Sonny Edwards so like I, I, you can't hit what you can't see and like, he's gonna go over to the US and he's gonna he's gonna bring that world title back home he's gonna bring the unification back home. Boys, appreciate it, Troy. Thanks, Sonny. Tom, man, thanks for that again. Last one, boys. Do the nap be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot up at it. Uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. Win it, their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt in. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 